Alrighty, I seem to get asked quite a few questions as to um, how to downgrade Windows Vista to Windows XP and I figure it's best to do a video instead of answer this question about 50 some thousand times because it's always going to be the same thing. If you have Windows Vista and you want to downgrade to Windows XP, uh, Microsoft does not offer a consumer level downgrade program. Um, for example, if you're a huge corporation, you have, let's say, uh, a thousand employees. They're all using Windows Vista. And you go, I don't like Windows Vista. We have some program that has to run on Windows XP for the entire corporation or huge set of the users. Um, you have the option of, when you do that um, with Microsoft to buy all those licenses, uh, to have the option to downgrade to any previous version of Windows uh, that's still supported. Uh, of course, XP is still partially supported right now, I guess you could say. Um, there's nothing like that for the um, consumer level. Um, if a consumer goes, I don't like Vista, I want XP, they go, they complain to Microsoft, Microsoft's going to say, sorry, that's the only product available at the moment, we no longer support XP, XP's out, it's basically going out the door. So they don't do that for you because you're one person, and if they do that for one person, that means they have to do it for about you know a million people instead of just one. So of course they're not going to do that. Um, how do you actually do this then? It, it can be done. Uh, unfortunately, you have to get a hold of a copy of Windows XP. Um, I don't like to recommend this, but you can do it. Um, if you were to take your old um, computer, if you had like an old Windows XP computer, and you you know basically have replaced that with a Windows Vista computer, you still have a Windows XP license. Now here's the thing: you could transfer that license to another computer. However, you can no longer use that copy of XP on the old computer. Uh, basically, you can only have one copy of that XP running at one time. I shouldn't say running. Installed at one time. Uh, you can't have it installed on two computers. You can have it only installed on one computer at one time. Uh, so what you can do is if you wanted to downgrade to XP from Vista, you can go out get yourself a... Uh, Windows XP OEM CD. Um, you should be able to find the, just the media itself somewhere. Um, I know I have some places that I can actually order from, but they require me to be more of a OEM provider than anything else. Um, for personal residential, I'm not too sure where you might be able to pick one up just the media and not uh, the full license. I'm not sure where you'd be able to do that. Um, but you never know, maybe eBay. Um, just keep an eye out that some of the stuff on eBay isn't always legit, and it may be nothing more than pirated software that's infested with viruses and spyware. Just keep that in mind. Uh, you can go through and go out and just buy a OEM copy of XP as well. Um, I think Newegg still has a few sitting around still. Um, it's getting pretty hard for me to come across any at all. It's, I think one of my vendors last time said, sorry, we, we can't do that anymore. Uh, so it's getting next to impossible to find a copy of XP now. Um, anybody that's going to have it, it's going to have it in surplus. Basically, they just want to get rid of it. They don't, they don't have it. They're not going to get any more of it. They just want it gone. Uh, so try like Newegg, places like that, see if they have any surplus copies. Um, if you have a copy of um, XP on a previous computer you've used, if you no longer use that computer, you can erase that copy of XP off there and use that license on another computer, i.e. your computer that's running Vista. 
Now, that's the legality technical nonsense there. Uh, the other issue is going to be, can your new computer run XP? Is there support for it? Um, I've heard that some systems, people have tried to go through, put XP on it, and the drivers are not there. They're not developing the drivers for XP for some of these systems. It's only going to be uh, Vista and above. So go through, if you got like a Dell, HP, Compaq, um, Gateway, E-Machine, before you even start with this whole process, go out to their website, uh, put in your model information, all that, and see if the drivers are even available. Check for things like network cards, graphics cards, and the chipset. Those are going to be the three big ones. If those aren't there, eh, something ain't quite right. Uh, it's probably not going to work as it should, or um, if you're lucky, you might not have to have a chipset driver, but um, if it's a new computer, you're probably going to have to. Uh, so keep that in mind. Make sure drivers are out there before you even start with this. If they're not, forget it. You might as well just live with the Vista. Don't risk, you know, wiping out your system, putting XP on there just to find out you got to go through and reload Vista again. So it's just better to check it out. Make sure the stuff's out there. You know. Um, and then. As far as loading up XP goes, that could be a topic all by itself. I'd have to make a video just for that. But uh, in general, you could put the CD in your system, restart your computer, and it should boot up right off the CD, go through the step by step instructions, and then, of course, install the software later. But um, not software, but the drivers. Drivers and software later. Uh, that you have, like Microsoft Word, all that. So. <clears throat> That's the gist of it. Uh, that's how you're going to downgrade from Vista to XP. Um, if anybody else has any questions, comments on it, feel free to post them here or shoot me an email at video. It is so I'm a little tired. Uh, video at defcon 5com uh, you can shoot me an email there and I can answer your question there or you can just post a comment on this. Um, until next time, I'll see you later.